alternating running shoes, is it acceptable to alternate between a four millimeter drop and a 10 millimeter drop shoe? Michael. Here's a good question about shoes uh, and the four millimeter drop and the 10 millimeter drop. What that's referencing is the heel to toe drop of a running shoe. Now any shoe will have a heel toe drop of anywhere from zero to uh, maybe upwards of 14 or even 16 millimeters. And this refers to the difference in height between the forefoot and the heel of the shoe. So uh, as you can imagine, a stiletto high heel will have a, an enormous heel toe drop because the heel is so much higher than the forefoot. Now that's obviously a ridiculous example, but it was a good illustration of uh, the difference in heel toe drop between um, you know, different shoes. So is it acceptable to alternate between a four and a 10 millimeter heel toe drop? Absolutely. Um, you know, I mentioned in an earlier question, I think it's great to vary the types of stresses that your body experiences to help yourself prevent injuries because running is very repetitive. And so by varying different styles of running shoes that have varying heel toe drops, you're going to reduce the stress that you have on your legs. So a four millimeter heel toe drop shoe might be better for uh, if you're doing a faster run uh, or if you're doing a shorter run where the extra stress that you're putting on your Achilles or your soleus and your calf is not going to be uh, so significant. And when you're running in a low heel toe drop shoe, your foot is going to be in a more neutral position and it is going to reinforce proper running form. And that's why it's beneficial to, to wear those types of shoes on a faster workout. Now, uh, a shoe with a higher heel toe drop is more beneficial to use on a recovery day or on a day where the workout is already very stressful and you don't want to add any additional stress. So maybe a long run where you know, you're trying to run a new distance that you've never run before. Then it's very helpful to um, work on, you know, wear a shoe that doesn't have a, a heel toe drop that's going to strain your lower legs. But you know, this is a great, great example of rotating running shoes to vary the stress on your foot and your lower legs so that uh, you're reducing your injury risk and you're probably maximizing the training benefits of wearing different shoes by working on your running form and prioritizing recovery on those two key days. So great question and definitely uh, rotate those running shoes. The, the heel toe drop isn't as important as just different styles and models of shoes. Uh, though I do recommend a different heel toe drop for those two options. And for anyone who doesn't alternate shoes, it is a great way to, uh, again, reduce their repetitive nature of running and help yourself stay healthy.